In today's Tuesday tip, we're going to talk about anxiety. These are trying times, and since they are, the times are filled with anxiety of the unknown and even depression of the known. Are you experiencing anxiety yourself while you're going through quarantine? Or I've heard some refer to it as the lockdown. I've had even others to refer to it as the lock up. I think I have a little anxiety. My eating habits are not what they used to be. I think I'm guilty of the quarantine 15. I'm working from home and used to being on the road. So at times I have had to talk my way through. My family is having an adjustment also. Now our residents may be in the same boat, especially the seniors. Often you have to understand that they are under a lot of pressure and anxiety and may be going through the same type of feelings that you're having. So I want to caution you and ask that you be patient with them, be nice, be polite, and smile, and show your calmness, which will resonate to them and perhaps calm their spirits. If they aren't giving you the documents that you need for those recertifications, don't get upset or angry because they're probably just going through something right along and now themselves. I have been reading how quarantine and social distancing is playing a hard role on residents and causing anxiety and depression, again, especially with the elderly. They're used to gathering, playing bingo, crafting, and using the common and community areas, and that has changed. In an upcoming tip, we will have suggestions from property coordinators and activity directors on some of the activities that may help with the anxiety yet allow social distancing. Example, if your property has a newsletter, this can be an entertaining tool as well as a way to communicate with your residents. You can post things like your recipes, a crossword puzzle, things that will challenge them and keep them engaged. If it's a family property, you might want to do something as simple as a trivia game. Most of our residents on our family properties have cell phones, so they will be able to text or email the answers and then give a little reward to the person who wins. There are a lot of posts blogs, and reading materials on anxiety and how to cope. Perhaps you can read up on some things that may help you and your residents. Until the next time, be creative, be motivated, and stay safe. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.